Good evening, everybody. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much-anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. Muhammad Ali is making his way to the ring with such confidence. That is the look of a fighter who knows exactly what tonight's outcome will be. Making his way to the ring with a determined giddy up in his step. Introducing first, fighting out of Louisville, the greatest of all. His adversary, hailing out of Brooktown, the blockbuster, Marciano. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Scheduled to go the full 10 if we get that far. Round one underway. Oh, and the right hand comes into play by Muhammad Ali. Took a shot, now he gives a left. And now he scores well with a straight right. Is this the type of stylistic matchup, Teddy? A high stamina guy against a power puncher that many would describe as, oh, that's a little dangerous for the big favorite, for the big power puncher. That can be a trap. Yeah, it can be a trap because anytime you have a guy with high endurance, that means mentally he's fit. That means he probably has a good chin if he's been rounds before. And the power might not be enough. Well-placed, well-timed combo up top. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Muhammad Ali. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Muhammad Ali's hurt by a superb hook to the head. Muhammad Ali with a huge right hand. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by Muhammad Ali. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Watch the hook. A headshot block. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. So the round comes to an end. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas sitting with you ringside. I know you had a very busy week before you flew here out to broadcast this fight, doing your charitable contributions back at Staten Island with the Dr. Theodore Atlas Foundation. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up, Joe. We did well. We had our dinner, our yearly dinner, where we're able to raise money to help people that are in need, people that have nowhere else to go for help, whether it's a mother that can't pay the cancer treatment for a seven-year-old daughter, and we're able to pick up that insurance. But the thing that I want to take a second to thank everybody for is that it's a collective effort. It's all the people that allow us the resources to go out there and help those people. Well off the mark by Muhammad Ali. Parries that punch intended for the head. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Muhammad Ali. 
Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Back upstairs he goes. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. That's it. That's Comes it. right back at him with a left hand. Yeah, yeah. Solid right by Muhammad Ali. Punches and bunches. It worked out well there with that combo. Yeah, you know, the early punches no set up the late the punches. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Well-targeted double jab by Muhammad Ali. Well, you can tell that this cut is now a major problem. If that cut gets any worse, I think this fight's coming to an end. Well, that's exactly what the doctor would look at if the referee brings him up where the cut is. It's not really as far as whether or not it's bleeding a lot or whether or not to us it looks like a terrible cut, it's where it's placed. If it's in a place where it can do permanent damage, the doctor will stop this fight. You understand what I'm saying? Keep this fight in the center of the ring, okay? You the ball. Number three is underway. And now a little combination punching, landing both shots. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Staying away from those head shots with his defense up top. Ali's the target of a hook. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Scored well up top. He is cut badly. The blood is just flowing down from that cut, Teddy. Yeah, if you're in the corner right now, your job is to keep the confidence level of your fight up. Tell him, hey, listen, maybe you lie to him a little tiny bit. You say, look, it's not bad. Just don't worry about it. Do your job. We're going to take care of this. Good double jab by Muhammad Ali. Solid left hand to the head. Ali's ability to stay on the outside and to score and control this fight is very impressive. I know as a trainer, you gotta love this. Yeah, exactly. I think that he watched Clint Eastwood and Dirty Harry. You know, Clint Eastwood used to say, a man must know his limitations. And of course, you have to know your adversary's weaknesses. Well, right now, that homework, that understanding is showing up. Solid left. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. A well-targeted jab that time. And that's exactly what you need when you want to stay on the outside. Something to keep you away from your opponent. Good shot there with that left. Ali's combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. Keep the range. Jab, jab, right. Okay? All right. Look great. Just don't get crazy. Box, box. He's hooking to the body. Where's your hook at? Come on now. You're stronger than him. You need to hook to the body. Take some of his speed away. Let's go. One more shot to the body. And listen, I'm not going to stand here. 
As we start round number four, it's clear to see that it's his precise punching that has earned him good grades on your scorecard, Teddy. With all that accuracy, clean, effective punching, he's up three rounds to zero. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if he went to medical school because he's been a surgeon tonight. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Another flush shot lands upstairs. Right to the belt line. Scoring well with that hook by Muhammad Ali. Ali's jab lands well. Little head hunting with the left. Left to the body. Ali lands the power punch. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking one. Ali with a big left. Nice strike after catching one by Muhammad Ali. Good double jab by Muhammad Ali. He saw the uppercut, he took advantage, throwing it out there. What's the answer here, Teddy? I mean, time and time again, he is getting hit with headshots by that right hand. The answer is not going to help him. The answer is to go back to the gym and be taught properly how to get away from that punch. Probably too late now. You got to let your hands go. You have to. You have to be busy. This, this guy is beating the shit at you. You have to throw three or four punches in a row. You can turn this around, but you got to let it go. As another round gets underway, it gets us thinking how much more of this will we see. Hard to envision this fight going the distance with how lopsided it's been. And he engages in the clinch. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Muhammad Ali. Left hand came after the jab. Ali's right hand scores well. Good biting, snapping shot by Muhammad Ali. And he returns on that exchange. Way to block there. He fires off the combination there and it lands. Muhammad Ali's punch didn't come close. Good block there by Muhammad Ali. Ali's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Sizzling hand speed we saw moments ago. Heck of a combination, but uh, pretty easy to get it off when you're that fast. Yeah, it is, and what it causes, too, is besides us saying, ooh, that we see those quick hands and the judges, you know, marking it down. Also, it makes the opponent keep his hands in his pocket. He's afraid to move his hands because the other guy's so much faster. That straight right unable to connect. Doubling up the jab by Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali's nailed by a huge uppercut. Let's see some defense. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Good solid one-two by Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali's trainer, who you can see working with him right now in between rounds, said, hey, you've never seen anything like the way he works a double end back. It's proven true. 
Yeah, it has. You know, part of why he's so accurate is he's calm, but part of it is he works on it like you just said. He gets on that crazy bag, that double end bag, and he makes sure that those punches are right on the mark. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right? More than one punch out there. More than one. We're in a fight now. Both punches. You got me? We're in a fight. underway and we are halfway through the scheduled slate. Flush right hand to the head. Keeps his hands up defensively protecting the head. Commits to the straight right. Well there he is on the outside staying away from any danger but still able to do what he wants. Hey Joe so often we talk about the height we talk about the length but how about talking about patience? How about talking about discipline? He's using both those assets beautifully, staying on the outside, getting his kind of fight. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Muhammad Ali. Good flush shot upstairs. Well, he's committed to the left hand and it's paying off here. Double jab by Muhammad Ali. Come on, get both them. That's a huge left hand from Muhammad Ali. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Good step back counter punch there. Come on, get Ali with a right hand. Ali's combination punching is working well here. Round six comes to an end. I can't imagine that this is how he thought this fight would play out, Teddy. He's being peppered by headshots. Yeah, but you gotta wonder about what went on in training camp. I mean, did they work on defense at all? I mean, I haven't seen his head move once. Another round, will it go in another one-way direction? It's been a one-sided fight so far tonight. Ali's strategy coming in was to land a lot of jabs. Teddy, you got a great amount with an A here. Maybe even an A plus, Joe. That plus is the right hand. Once the jab has been there, bang, the right hand came just when it was supposed to. Give him an A plus. There's the jab. Boy, right on target with that double jab. There was a baseball umpire around. He called that a strikeout by Muhammad Ali. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Turns over that hook and he does damage upstairs. Doubles up the jab. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. You see him holding on. Nice work with the combination by Muhammad Ali. How about that? 
that left hand. And that's the end of round seven. Good job, It's over. He's got nothing more left. Okay? Just go for the head. Knock him out. It's done. Let's go. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? Then let's get moving out there. This guy's gonna win this fight. If you don't take control, son, you need to take control. Okay. This is one of those moments where you look at your scorecard and it does say what's happened in this fight. He's been outclassed, outgunned, outworked throughout. Hey, this is a moment where a good referee, really, a good referee goes over and says, do you want to fight? Because maybe you should get out of here if you don't want to fight. Get away from the inside. Unable to get to Ali. Ali blocked it. Flush with the combination upstairs. Ali's making for a clinic here in combination punches. Well, the first couple punches he had thrown in. Did you see that? Oh, that's beautiful stuff, Kenny. That is beautiful work with that combination to score the knockdown. Well, that's the benefit of putting them together. One sets up the other one. a lot of credit for even getting up for that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. Come on, get Great work get offensively landing that combination by Muhammad Ali. Ali's once again the target. What a great round this has turned into after... Look at that! Wow, is this good stuff! What good stuff! He just scored the knockdown after being knocked down earlier! Joe, that's incredible, and the knockdown earlier actually set up this knockdown because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. I think Ali's opponent has to see what we see so clearly ringside. He's got cobwebs up there. This is a guy that mentally right to it. There it is! He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's gonna try to survive it. rising back up. That takes some guts. And that's the end of round eight. He's accurate, he's smart, and he's winning this fight all night long on the outside. Well, if this was a debate, there'd be only one guy talking. I mean, it's him. He's doing exactly as you said, Joe, what he wants to do on the outside with his jab. But his opponent needs to find a way to change things, get inside. Here we are, all wondering, can he survive the start of this round after the way we saw him go down in that last round? Well, it's up to his opponent. Though. Now, his opponent gets a little careless and he rushes in a little bit too close. Is he gonna go? Oh, that's gotta hurt. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. Muhammad Ali is unable to continue. This fight is over. Knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your winner, the blockbuster, Marciano. Teddy, it wasn't.
wasn't long ago we looked at your scorecard and he was trailing in this fight. Now he's sitting there with his arm raised with a knockout victory. Well, that's the benefit of those body punches early on. It paid off, got him to drop his hands, stop moving his head a little bit, and he got the knockout just when he needed it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time.